It's of thousands of students here in Georgia getting ready to return to school soon. Tonight, we take a look at the reality many kids in this country now fear, an active shooter situation. CBS 46's Don Shipman is in Johns Creek tonight where kids and their parents learned how to stay alive when the unthinkable happens. What makes this training so different is that community members as young as 12 are participating in this, learning how to defend themselves when and if a gunman starts shooting. 19 students, two teachers killed at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. 10 people killed at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York. Seven people killed at a 4th of July parade in Highland Park, Illinois. So far this year alone, there's been more than 300 mass shootings in the U.S. This according to the Gun Violence Archive. By the time you leave this class, if anything ever happens, you're going to look around and you're going to go, let's go. Tonight, parents and their kids filed into the Johns Creek courtroom to learn how to defend themselves if the unthinkable happens in their community. I just want to be prepared if anything ever happens in real life. Is this something you think about when you go to school, for example? Yeah, I mean, anything can happen no matter how good the school is. Honestly, no, any people can break in. More than 70 people attended the training course, the course outlining what an average citizen can do in the event of an active shooter and what they can do before police get there to help them. Avoid, get out. The first thing, no matter what's going on, if you can get out, I want you to get out. Um, get out of the area. If you cannot get out, I don't want you to hide and I don't want you to play dead. I want you to deny access into the room. If you can't keep the bad guy out, Lieutenant Kalish says next you need to defend yourself. For students in a classroom, that could mean using a pen to fend off the gunman. You're going to be more scared than you've ever been in your life. You have to switch that emotion, shift it to anger. The course also giving insight into how you as the victim will feel physically when under attack. For example, your blood pressure will spike dramatically. Being aware of your surroundings and being expectant for the unexpected. A reality for most Americans, safety in a public space no longer a guarantee. A 90 minute course aimed at giving everyday citizens a fighting chance. Tonight's training is called Alert. It's given in cities all over the country to both police officers and community members. In Johns Creek, Don Shipman, CBS 46 News.